Welcome back. This is the Geek Father, your decidedly average gamer. Back with um, <laughs> more Red Dead Redemption 2. You're We've strong, man. captured our first bounty. Maybe if I had a strong man like you, I wouldn't be in this mess. And she's uh, trying to go. charm me into letting her go. That's what my problem's been. No deal, lady. Situation. But a big strong man like you, you'd set me straight. Wouldn't you, mister? I am immune straight, to your charms, ma'am. It's just business, no offense. I hate you, you sad sack of shit. I wish I'd cut your belly open and show you your guts. Gutless bounty hunt nobody. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I see how her tone was changed. She's having a breakdown on the back of my horse. My big ass horse. My big ass horse with the big ass. Don't even know what the bounty is for this lady, but we're gonna find out. And I tried to approach her and be all nice and talk to her, but she charged me and started stabbing me, so I had to, uh, unfortunately I had to hit her. She attacked me first with the intent of murdering me. I love the day-night cycle in this game. The weather is pretty damn amazing. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a lot of time this week to uh, play the hell out of this game, so you'll see a lot of videos coming at a pretty regular pace. Trying to create, you know, more content, additional stuff to view on the uh, Geek Avengers page, other than the con videos, which, no fault of our own, don't come at a as regular pace as we'd all like. We're not all deep pockets to be able to road trip to every con there is, especially now that due to medical issues, the Geek Father isn't. Uh, able to get out as many cons as he used to. Horse is tired. We better feed it. Oh, that's my journal. We don't have time to read that now. No, no, no. A horse. What did I do? Oh, well, frack and frack. Really? I can't become one to... Alrighty. Well, that's good to know. I hit the wrong dang button. I was just trying to feed my damn horse. I was just trying to feed my horse. Oh, come on. Don't you man handle me? <laughs> well, Geek Father made a tactical error in not knowing what all the buttons were. Well, son of a This is kind of funny actually. Oh, such a long way.
Come on, horse, move like you got a pair, dang it. How about that? Oh dear. What came over me? Did I, did I just do those things? It's a, it's a horrible blur. But I see blood. All right. Blood. Turning in the bounty part two. Yeah, I don't believe a word you say, lady. I need help, okay? I, I have an illness. A fever of the brain. I, I, I've done bad things, but a jail, a jail ain't where I belong. A sanatorium, maybe. Get me help, mister. Please, save me. Save me from the sheriff. And moreover, from myself. It's amazing, you don't hear... I haven't heard the same dialogue twice yet. Usually in games like this, the ambient dialogue tends to repeat itself. Okay, she's starting to charm me again. I can only imagine the amount of dialogue that the voice actors had to record. Just pages and pages of it. I hate you. Different tones and inflections and I wish I'd cut your belly open and show Imagine you whoever did the voice acting for this game earned their money. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Ah! And Rockstar's never been known to uh, hire well known voice actors ones that are famous not like Nolan North or uh, Troy Baker at least not that I can recall they give voice actors that really fit the situation like whoever they chose to do Arthur Morgan nailed it he is absolutely the right man the right voice Because if you get the sounds wrong and you get the voices wrong, that can really affect the immersion of the game. And especially in a game like this, you spend so much time on every little detail is scrutinized. Hopefully this will bring back some goodwill. We're coming up on the Folks jailhouse. won't be hating me. You want to try on me. Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I
<laughs> you order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feller out by the falls. Oh, dear. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Well, that's cowboys for you. Indeed. So, it seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. Gonna take some time off posting bounties, impose law and order on the streets. That man has a heart of stone. It's silly to keep me locked up in here. I mean, what am I gonna do? Just little <laughs> immune to your charms, Mrs. Swan. It's so boring in here. can we have some fun, Sheriff? Just the two of us. And to think you were sniffing around this office at one point. I'm lucky you was charmed by another. You see, huh. Sheriff, I know your secrets. And I could spread them all over. Like Miss Moria. Don't you dare mention Mora again. Now hush. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is this is wonderful. Okay. Out of my way. What's in my journal? All right, let's uh Finally, a thaw in this god awful weather. We got off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Jose seems to know the country a little. Ain't been much of a spring. Now hold up at a place called Horseshoe Overlook, outside of some dumpy little cattle town name of Valentine. Dutch seems a little better, the eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see his thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier in spite of Blackwater and that whole mess. Headed into Valentine with Uncle and the girls. The girls went scouting and work while Uncle and I had a few drinks, and he explained more of his theories on existence and barefaced this and barefaced lies about his past. Things took a strange turn. Some fella seemed to recognize me, a rust from Blackwater. Guess we had been holed up there too long while Jose and I scouted the job that never was. I chased the bastard. Oh, he writes everything down, doesn't he? And he nearly fell off a cliff. I spared him. I spared him and gave him an ink pen. Oh, and he gave me an ink pen. Sorry. I hope I won't regret my leniency. But I reckon he got the score. The I'm terrible at reading this. I'm blind. Got the scare of his life. Jimmy Brooks was his name. Man. <laughs> this guy is... Detailed. gang savings look at that look at that it writes it down that's crazy 
All right, let's feed you Alamo Gold. All right, now we'll brush you. Sorry, taking a quick quick break here. Okay. Pat it because he's a good boy. This way. Come on. Yeah, good boy. Come on, boy. So what's next? Let's look at the map. See what else we got going on. We'll come back to thinking about hunting. Actually, you know what? I feel like doing a little bounty hunting. That's fun. Plus, it'll earn me some money. So. Let's uh look at the documents. Billy Midnight, born Wilhelm Schnell, the man who killed Rap Matthews. Little known about Midnight, definitely before killing, excuse me. Thought to have been Matthew's rifle cleaner and stable boy, New Callaway then. Overnight sensation gained national celebrity. Speaking tours, then reenactments from St. Louis to St. Denis, San Fran, etc. Received death threats and suffered attempts on his life. Now a recluse saved for regular sightings at Rhodes train station. Okay. To Rhodes train station we go. Well, we got a, a Billy Midnight. It's a long trip, but let's do it. Yeah. We'll discover some land while we're out there. And that stash of six hundred dollars we got from the old Driscolls. Uh, today's money that'd probably be a few thousand dollars. Six thousand dollars? Something like that. You know, they don't mention the patrols when they were popping up lights in a gag. I love that it's the consistent rain, it's not like Oh, it rains for five minutes and stops, and it doesn't rain again for I mean, ten hours of gameplay kind of deal. I just love the cinematic camera. Cinematic camera, the horse follows the road. Now I need to focus. 
So this is exactly why I do the side mission stuff. Oh! Oh, damn! Oh! That is some of the most random stuff, and that was awesome! Oh! Oh! Shoot! What? <laughs> wow! Holy bejesus! Nothing to see here, just, um, I didn't kill him. Hey, look, I needed the ammo. He was a dumbass that stood behind his horse, and it kicked him to death. Ha! <laughs> that was one of the most random things. And that's, again, what I'm talking about, the attention to detail in this game. That it's just a, such an ambient random world and it's awesome rockstar has hit a home run with this game they have outdone themselves i gotta say they're probably the best game studio on earth right now they are just this is gonna be the game of the year this is going to be the game of the year. Hands down. Already. I mean, there are no other contenders. I feel like I'm actually in Lonesome Dove. <laughs> like, this would make a great series on Netflix. This is how good this is. This is amazing. It's so amazing that Black Christopher Walken has to comment and tell you he's having so much fun playing this game. Look at that. It's gotten dark. I can't see anything. I'm out in the wilderness and there's no lights. There's no electricity. There's no telephone poles or street lights hell the telephone wasn't even invented barely 26 years earlier than when this game takes place that's wild I can't believe it maybe I should be hunting this guy during the day but Should I? No, no. I don't think you get it. We got this bridge. Exclusive. Get more.
Well, that was impromptu, wasn't it? Took care of business, continue on my merry way. Man, I felt like a real badass gunslinger. Just standing out there on that bridge, shooting him down and taking fire. Like I was Clint Eastwood and Unforgiven. Shackles off soon. I'm a goner. Please. This is crazy. Just shoot the shackles. One bullet. That's all. Uh, Everyone deserves a second chance. Come on. Please. Well, what are you? Uh... Oh, hell, I'm an outlaw. Thanks for nothing. All right, well, I was going to do it, but I ain't going to do it now.
Man. I'm out in the country. Another town. One I want in. Road. 230 AM, 80 degrees. See if anyone knows where this man is. How do you do, sir? Gentlemen, really? Must you stare? What's in your head? Did somebody lose a toad? <laughs> Greetings. All right. Yeah. I don't know if it's my headphones or whatever. Hello. Hey, you there. A quick word. These are like brand new and they're already sounding messed up. old gunslinger I'm looking for. I heard he comes through here. Then uh, midnight, Billy. Oh, that old soak? <laughs> yeah, he spends days on board these trains, but he's going nowhere but the gutter. I imagine you'll find him riding the next one through here. Either that or the next one. Try them both. Look in the bar car. Mr. Midnight? Excuse me, I'm trying to drink. Mr. Midnight, listen, this won't take a moment. I just want to talk with you about your old days as a shootist. Get away from me! Hey! I didn't shoot him in his sleep! No one's saying that! I didn't shoot that. him in his sleep, and if I did, it was the only way! Not a problem. I'm here about Jim Boy Calloway, and no one shot him yet. I knew you'd come for me! Get away from me! Oh, dang it. Oh, he got me. Let's try that one more time. Okay. Press R2. Dead 
the gummit. Okay. There's a little uh, trial and error period here. <laughs> Crapola on a stick. All right. Oh well. Bad gum at sake. Oh. Camera. Graceful! Graceful as ever. And with that, I'm in the middle of nowhere at an obviously mining industrial town. God knows where my horse is. I done... Didn't kill a man. Shot the gun out of his hand. He had a spare gun. And he shot himself. So, doesn't count. I took a picture of him. So... But until next time... This has been your decidedly average gamer of the Geek Father with Pixel Gods and Geek Vengers. Hoping you can join us again for the adventures of Arthur Morgan and Red Dead Redemption 2. If you like the videos, please uh, drop a comment. Uh, hit the like button, because it would really help our channel out a great deal. And subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're watching this, you should subscribe, because we put out con content, and we put out game content, and it's all good times. So until next time, kill them all, it's Pixel God, sort them out.